makes dumb jokes while he shoots his guns. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Sup soldiers, you're chilling with the slack and this is Far Cry 3 on the master difficulty setting and this is the defusing the situation mission and it's a tough escort mission. So this commentary is dubbed. Yeah, I'm going to leave live slack to his devices. He's going to take care of business while I do commentary after the fact. And I'm just going through my loadout here. I'm taking on or taking with me the Z93, the MKG light machine gun the RPG-7 rocket launcher and the AMR and you're gonna need a few mines um, yeah I'd say a lot of mines that will help you out a lot with this mission so we're headed to the drug fields and the deal is we have to protect Sam while he plants three bombs right Sam? It's a pirate attack Hoyt's drug fields they have rigged bombs V disarms them okay you ready? Yeah. Seriously? Okay, I got it wrong. Defuse three bombs. Not plant three bombs. Defuse three bombs. Anyways, you guys know me. I'm not into the story smorgy crap. Just tell me where to shoot. Tell me what to shoot and let me shoot it and et cetera, et cetera. And I planted a mine there by accident. Give me that back. There we go. So first thing you want to do is plant a mine it's right a behind this yeah. burning Boys car here. Okay, okay. shut up people. We're doing a walkthrough here. Great. Okay, plan of mine there is going to help you out a lot. Equip your MKG or any other decent uh, light machine gun. Cover me. And here I'm just experimenting. I'm thinking, does the objective begin when Sam goes in that hut, or do you have to actually follow him in? And I'm going, okay, it's not beginning yet. And then the enemies are coming, so I have to actually go in. And now the objective begins. Okay, so now we have to protect Sam. And the first guy came in and got blown to smithereens. And all the rest are going to generally come from the south, okay? So you can hunker down behind this fence here. And a lot of them are Molotov charges whipping uh, Molotov cocktails at you. Like so. Which burn. So you definitely don't want to be on the grass, standing on the grass when that happens. That's why this dirt road is the best place to be. Okay, stand on the dirt road behind the fence and because dirt doesn't burn, you're fairly safe. Okay? Stick with the slack and you won't get whacked. So that's it. That's the first wave. And as long as you don't, blah, 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 don't go near Sam, um, he won't continue. And you can loot the areas, which is what we're going to do now. Because I'm still on my quest to max out my $10,000 wallet. I would have maxed it out by now if I hadn't spent uh, 3000 bucks on the bull shotgun for a demonstrational purpose to see what I do for you guys. So just gathering up some jump change here. And um, something I've, I've probably noticed just now is I have four medicine syringes. I have more four med kits. And they're clogging up my syringe kit. So I want to get rid of those at the end of the mission here. Which means finding a high place, jumping off, purposely injuring myself, and then taking a you know, taking those medicine syringes to heal myself. That's the only way to get rid of medicine syringes. It's so stupid. It should be a way to, to drop them. Onward. So now we go to the second location where Sam's going to defuse the bomb. He can take some enhanced perception right away. There's always a guy on top of the roof and a guy down there. I don't have it. The rest is here. Watch my back. Totally ignore Sam's advice about going up on the roof. It's Take stupid. The up to the roof. Yeah, see there. No, no, that's stupid. You better off uh, hunkering down behind this rock here. Good cover. And if you can't see the enemies, you can just go behind the rock and look for their silhouettes uh, using enhanced perception. You can spot them easy. Go on the way. Bob's your uncle. Great. I'm going to be using the MKG heavily throughout the rest of the game, especially um, on the next mission, Deep Throat, and, um, well, you'll see. Now all the uh, 
the enemies are down and you're just waiting for a jeep to come in. Do not blow this jeep with explosives or a rocket launcher or anything like that because what's going to happen is you're going to set this field on fire if you do that. And you don't want to do that because it's going to cut off um, a great approach to the next section. Okay, so once the guys in the jeep are down, I'll always go up to the windmill tower, take away that sniper there, and now cut straight across the fields, okay? If you set the fields on fire, you won't be able to do this. And you can flank these guys in the greenhouse who are waiting with a mounted gun to blow you away if you take um, the frontal approach, which is what Sam is doing. So you can see him coming up now, now. See? If you follow Sam, he, he leads you on a suicide run. You know, on a frontal oh, attack, here. and those guys in you know, the mount again will, you know, I'm give you a hard time. You man, that turret over there. It will help me sleep at night. Yeah, yeah, once again, totally ignore Sam. Only man the turret if you're on, like, you know, easier difficulty settings like Survivor or, you know, Adventure. If you're playing on Master, forget about the turret. And same deal, then. Jam up some enhanced perception. Use the MKG and hunker down, spot the silhouettes, and there's always one heavy, so you're looking out for the heavy. So you see the heavy, switch to the AMR, bam, one shot is down, back to the MKG. Listen carefully for grenades, eh? And I got a 60 XP multi kill bonus there. Stay hunker down. Listen carefully for grenades. There, see, somebody just threw a grenade. And I thought that uh, that was a, a barrel like a blow. Eventually, a helicopter is going to come. And this is a bit of a bitch because the helicopter always comes at the same time that a charger rushes you. Game times are like this. So the charger rushes the door, so you gotta be ready. I would say to knife the charger if he peers at the door. And go to the helicopter, see? Well, not a charger, but this time it's a, it's a pirate. And actually, I'm glad I got pretty injured there because now I can use up one of my medicine syringes. <laughs> there we go. Kill two birds with one stone. And here comes the boom. Thanks for telling me. The boom. Not sure if I actually got out of the way to the blast range, but uh. Where'd Jason go? <laughs> now I'm just toying with this guy because uh, I know he's the last guy. I want to see if I can do a take on on him. And that injured me too. So I used up another medicine syringe. It looks like I somehow accidentally collected a fifth medicine syringe. So I still got three. So that's it, everyone's dead, all we have to do is go back into the greenhouse and hook up with Sam and the mission will be complete. But now I'm trying to find a high place I can jump off so I can purposely injure myself so I can use some of these medicine syringes. And this is pretty funny, I can't injure myself for the life of me, you know, I'm trying all the time to places to jump off and trying to injure myself and I can't do it. Finally near the end of the video, you see I find a place back and gas down. So that mine didn't blow. Usually a guy comes up and tries to flank you on the side of the greenhouse there. So that's why I put a mine there. Didn't happen this time. Eventually I'm going to max out my rucksack. So we'll just looting everybody here. Are you an old man or what? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm an old man. See, now I'm fine. still trying to find a high place to jump off to injure myself. This didn't do it. Go figure, eh? Every other time, you know, it's just wandering along, you know, and you just like jump down a few, a 
flight of stairs or something and Jason falls flat on his face and you lose half your health. Now I'm purposely trying to injure myself and I can't do it. So now I just want to pick up this ammo here without picking up yet another medicine syringe. And there we go, loot, rut, sack full. So I'm going to have to use up, uh, or rather make some syringes. Pretty sure, yeah, so I, I can make four syringes, so I'll make some more enhanced perception. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So free up some space in my inventory. What I should have did was made uh, a couple of three untouchables, which is what I ended up doing later on. That would have freed up a lot of space in my inventory. here. I'm going, okay, surely jumping off this roof is going to injure me. Surely. And there's yet another med pack. I even jumped. And I'm like, what? Come on. I, dang it. I can't believe, I've actually injured myself just running down the stairs at the temple. You know, at, at Citrus Temple, you run down the stairs a little too fast and you, you can injure yourself just doing that. Now, I'm jumping off a roof. <laughs> Go figure, eh? Very funny game. Very funny. Later on, I finally find a place and it ends up being too much and I kill myself. So what are we up to now? 8600? Getting up there. And I'm just checking my loot rucksack because I'm wondering why I'm only getting cash from everybody I'm looting. And that is why, because my loot rucksack is full. 96 out of 96 items. So I think that's pretty much it for the looting. Let's go hook up with Sam. Wonderful. <laughs> I will tell Hoyt that you work with me. It should grease the wheels, yeah? But I still need the roll sheet. Yeah. Back to that. I had a flash of where it might be. By an abandoned mining colony in the gorge. Okay, I'll check it out. Alright, so that's I coming up take next. A picture of the guilty ones. In a mission called Deep Throat. So that's it. Diffusing the situation down and out. Deep Throat is next. I'm gonna go to Gas Town and take care of business. Oh yeah, alright, now, quick selling it up here, boss. I think I make about 500 bucks, that puts me over 9,000, there we go, 9,000. And I got a whole bunch of dingo pelts to sell too. And now I'm looking at all these leaves and I finally get the bright idea. You know what? I should make some untouchable. That'll get rid of a lot of those leaves and s free up the inventory. I hope my family is okay. So, or am I still intent on injuring myself? I think I am. Oh, and now I have a skills point to spend. I'm still trying to find the high, the high place. <laughs> That's just cracking me right up. The orchids are in bloom. Okay, so here's where I get like, okay, that's it. I'm gonna find a cliff. That's gonna injure me for sure. Here we go. I jump up in the air and boom, I died. <laughs> yeah, the game is having a hell of a lot of fun with me on this one. <laughs> you wanna injure yourself, Slack? Okay, here you go. Die! Scum sucking to private devils. Here, I finally get it right here. Finally injure myself. There we go. This will use up a couple of medicine syringes. This is absolutely ludicrous. The lengths that you have to go through to get rid of a few medicine syringes. You should be able to just drop them. 
Hey, come on, Ubisoft. Sorry, I've been I've been ragging on Ubisoft a lot lately. <laughs> I still think it's a great game, but I think it was kind of rushed to release, and um, there's a few details that you know they could have cleaned up to make it just a a really polished game. And they, anyways. So now we finally got one medicine syringe, and I get the bright idea to make some untouchable to clean up my in inventory a little bit. Still, still make one more untouchable. Go ahead, slap make one more untouchable. I can't even think of. Um, I don't think there's any mission remaining that I'll be using untouchable. Boy, hey. There we go, so the inventory is nice and empty, well fairly empty, and I got, it's a, all those crimson leaves that are, you know, so I'm going to have to collect any crimson leaves, I don't think, throughout the rest of the game. Got lots of enhanced perception. So that's it, thank you all very much for watching. That was the defusing the situation mission, and if you thought this was remotely oh, entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old slack there, hey, thumbs up. Yeah, nice stuff. Alright, that's it, slack is out. Hey guys, you can get this entire video walkthrough in easy to read ebook format. The Far Cry 3 Master Field Manual is a compilation of all the notes I took to create this walkthrough. It is the most complete game plan you can find that will have you beating the game on any difficulty setting, including the new very hard Master Difficulty. And you can get this all for only $9.99. And a special deal for a limited time only if you buy the Far Cry 3 Master Field Manual now, you would get a whopping 70% discount on my other ebook, Dead Space 2 Secrets. That's two fantastic game guys for only $12.99, guys. Don't don't miss out. How about a sneak peek, Slack? Want a sneak peek? Okay, I can do that. Click on the link in the video description to get the Far Cry 3 Master Field Manual free sample.